Pop Facts with Robert Reese, people. Walking into the Walmart right here. Little quick order. Nothing bad. $12, two miles, six items. Go ahead, shop and knock this out. Be ready for the next one. But on this boardroom that we have right now, two of, when I say personalities, these personalities are off the chain. One person will do anything to get a little bit of fame, and one person likes to just do the damn thing. When you watch his videos, you will hear cadences and rhymes like that. In this episode of The Boardroom, we got Side Hustle Attic Van, and we're gonna go ahead and take a journey in the car and go see the crib. Yes, people, cars and cribs. This boardroom is gonna be phenomenal. Let's go sit down and take a look. This is powered by Social Blade. Both these channels are good channels here. Side Hustle Attic is a B. Cars and Cribs is a B minus. Side Hustle Attic is over here in the red. Cars and Cribs in the blue. 47,500 subs for Side Hustle Attic. 56,300 for Cars and Cribs. Now we got 13 million 100 uh, something thousand views for Van. And you got 4.7 million views for Cars and Cribs. Now those numbers right there, for him to have more subs, there's something there that's not hitting but i do understand what it is and i will break that down with van 2.2k upload for side hustle attic he is right under hot facts and you have a few hundred up there for cars and cribs now 77 daily subs for cars and cribs and it says right now 314 daily subs for side hustle attic now side hustle attic does a little things different um, and we all know what they are. We'll go ahead and let you know he is all there for the shock value. Not only that, he is on every single platform that there is and he utilizes something called the reels or the shorts. We will get into that in just a bit. Both these channels, these guys have their own personalities. They deliver a whole lot different, but their grind is pretty much the same. They'll do just about anything to go out there and get it. One might be a little reserved, but you'll be able to see what I mean. Both these guys go off the wall, but their numbers speak for itself. Now, I do know Cars and Cribs had an extreme explosion once he got into the cargo van business. We will go over that and see how that has impacted their channels people uh when you look at these financials here make sure that you know that it's not accurate it's just an estimate like i never left cooking up content like a chef shooting videos like i'm steph curry so hurry up and subscribe because it's time for us to slide so baby guess now with all the catchphrases that this gentleman has he is no slouch what he puts into his vocabulary he also puts into the hard work now this gentleman shows you what you need to be doing if you are trying to develop into the all the way ultimate delivery machine okay he shows you visuals about what he wants to do look at this plane right here but take a look at this he went into the cargo van business because he wanted to make more money. He saw that he can make more money, put more in his pocket, and he actually tapped into a different algorithm with drivers out there. There is a huge surge of drivers who want to go into the cargo van business. They are making more money. With apps like Curry and Rody and doing other things by yourself on the side, you can maximize on what you want to do. They say, how has this helped this channel? I will tell you this. Now, look at him going to this all the way warehouse. He's able to get access and footage that other people just are not able to get. He is showing people what the real driver force and driver work is here in America. Now, this gentleman also has done everything under the sun. DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, uh, all the catering services. While doing that, his success as a delivery driver on as far as YouTube was not where it should have been. Once he switched over, start doing cargo vans, you've seen him rise and seen him climb. Now, he was able to make the adjustment to make it happen for him. Now, can you make it happen for you? His channel was rising, he is growing, and can't no one tell him nothing. He's cars and cribs, he's here to stay. And people, you can do it like him. 
Use the apps to build you and then build your social media platform. He's doing a great job. Look at this. You see him shopping orders. He's done it all. He gives you the content and he's not going to fall. Now check this out. We got this guy named Van over here. Watch this. Wanted, dead or alive. Now as you see, Van, side hustle addict. He has many, many channels here on YouTube. On top of that, he's on TikTok, he's on Instagram, he's on Facebook, and he's all over the place. What he does is he focuses on the real, or what you call the shorts. He has shorts videos. He has said his philosophy is I throw out the shorts, then I go ahead and go live. It has been successful for him in a way that he goes on like the wild land. His main thing is to shock you by acting like he's eating the customer's food. It's been in some type of serious controversy over the, the couple years. Look at this stuff here. He doesn't care. He puts it out there. But he knows that people will like that. It's all shock value there. He gets these reels to be shown all over the place because he does what a lot of people will not do for their channel. He will go ahead and purchase, spend like $100 a week, and have them throw it up all over the place, which will go ahead and attract more people to his channel. It's been very successful. He's almost at 48,000 subscribers. But the shock value and what he puts out there is that all people will expect from him. What type of mark is he putting on the gig world? Now watch this, he also goes live and interacts with his people every single day, at least two lives a day. He interacts with everyone, he drives every single app that there is. Look at here, this is all Uber, rideshare. He not only does the food portion, but he also taps in with the rideshare. Now with the engagement that Van gets, the people out there really get to see someone that is really out there doing the hustle. He works so often that we don't know when he goes to sleep. But we also know that while doing all of that, he puts time into a channel to let you know on the other side what's really going on. Is his way to go the right way to go? It seems like he may need some sleep, but it seems like he sleeps enough to keep him going. He drives every single app out there, puts you out there first hands while doing these videos. There's a lot of content creators that don't put themselves out there like that. Maybe that's why he doesn't care about the shock and awe that he puts out. Will he get harassed by people when doing deliveries? We all know he acts like he eats their food. He tells people, one of his catchphrases, take the bus there, bozo. But that catchphrase right there has become synonymous with what he does. He has to say it every single time because people love it. He is getting his just due, but at what cost? He also says when it comes to revenue, he does not care about putting extra money back in so people can see what he's got going on. In that way, he actually has full control over his channel. And is the shock value all gimmick or does he really believe in it? We don't know, but we do know he puts on a good show. Now, Cars and Cribs shows you a different approach. He shows you what hard work can do. He shows you not only can you strategize, but you can maximize on every dollar what you got going on. He knows how to break things down. He knows how to use the different apps and make them work for him. He shows you that not only can he do one app, he's so versatile, he can go all the way into a different industry of the same type of gig work. He shows you that integrity is what it takes. He may have a showman's personality with his epic catchphrases, but at the same time, what's epic is his work ethic. He has shown people that you can be different and still make it in a channel, in a category, in whatever else it is that you were trying to do. He has stuck to it and he has gained some success. Now, he has four million views and people say, man, how does Van have so many anymore? It's all because of the shorts. Van utilizes those. But when it came to a phenomenon of something that is gonna explode, the cargo van industry needed someone that can carry the torch. What he did is dug in there 
and said, I'm going to take lead. Now, much like the UK, the USA came to his aid and said, we will represent this cause. We love what you're doing. We love how you're doing it. Keep it up. We need you here for it. Without this gentleman, there's a whole lot about the cargo industry and the van industry that a lot of people do not understand. But he puts it directly to your face and shows you that you can make money and time is never going to be a waste. If you would like to know more about what goes on in the gig economy, do exactly what this next clip says. You have been watching The Boardroom a Hot Facts publication.